Hi guys and girls and welcome back to the channel and another Skyrim top tip. So now we've got our bound bow, all that is left for us to be ready for the big bad Skyrim world is to get the Atronach staffs of Flame, Frost and Shock. You can choose any of them that suits your playstyle or be greedy like me and get all three. Why get a staff and not the tome? Well for several reasons, at the start of the game your magicka levels are low and if you're using the bound bow you will not have enough magicka to fire both in quick succession. Uh, you can also give them to your followers. They are very effective against dragons. Well, the flame and storm Atronax are anyway. They can distract enemies and tank damage for you. And all these staffs have an insane range. Another staff worth having is a Sanguine Rose. Uh, that summons a Dramora Lord. Now, you can only get this after completing the quest A Night to Remember, uh, which requires a level 14 or above anyway. Um, also, the summons uh, Dramora are levelled, so I always wait till I've levelled up significantly before I go for staff and usually give it to my follower. But anyway, I'll do a video on this another time. So to get the staffs, we will use the Atronach Forge. Now, this is found in the College of Winterhold, which we've joined already. If you haven't, uh, you can see my previous top tips uh, video. Um, it's not a problem at all, it's ever so easy. Uh, now, before we start, you need the following ingredients. Now, most of which are found when you join the College. Uh, except the ingots, which you can mine or buy from blacksmiths, frost souls, which you can buy from alchemists, and brooms, which you can find lying around the college. So, for the Staff of Flame Atronac, you're going to need one broom, one fire salt, one corundum ingot or ore, one soul gem at greater or higher. For the Staff of the Frost Atronach, uh, you're going to need one broom, one frost salt, one refined moonstone or ore and one soul gem that's greater or higher. For the staff of the storm atronach you're going to need one broom, one void salts, one oricalcum or or ingots or ore, I never get that right, and one soul gem greater or higher. So we're just outside our room in the Hall of Ent um, Attainment. Uh, we'll head down to the Hall of Countenance. There are other ways to the forge, um, uh, but it's the one I use, so I like to use. And it's just at the bottom of the stairs. Now you're going to come across a Draugr and an Ice Wraith. You can avoid the Ice Wraith by killing the Draugr and sneaking round behind uh, the Ice Wraith. But I always feel uh, he doesn't respawn, so you might as well kill him um, straight away. Plenty of mushrooms to pick up. I'm not going to bother losing all the ingredients. They're not, there's not that much there anyway, or here anyway. So pop down here, kill this guy. Our shiny bound bow does that easily. The Ice Wraith is a little bit more tricky. Now I tend to come without a follower down here because they, they quite often just get in the way. Now you can attract his attention by firing um, at a wall or something just, just to get him interested. And bring him to you. Here you go. They're quite tricky to hit, these things, and they're quite powerful. At our level, they're probably one shot us, so treat them with respect. Well, oh, nearly done it. Don't have to worry yet with about arrows with the uh, bound bow. Just recast and get a hundred more. Um, I'm obviously recasting here as well because uh, I don't want to, the bow to run out before. Oh, while well, I'm engaging him. Again, this is one of the flaws of the bound bow. So I'll send my familiar after him. That's my magicka. Okay, should be able to cast it now. Okay, I have to go after him. I think he's um, 
not coming back. He's obviously a very clever ice wraith. Yeah, no choice. Have to go after him. I didn't want to do this, but uh, like I can say they can one shot you. But because he's seen us, we're not getting the sneak uh, damage on him. He's down this side. There he is. There he is. Gotcha. That's a rubbish kill cam. Oh, that's good. Okay, there's the Atronach Forge. Now just here, you've got some more fire salts, a ruby, and another broom. And this is the uh, forge recipe, so you can uh, keep that and peruse it at your leisure. And do keep that in case you, you want to uh, forge other stuff. Okay, here we go. This is the uh, search box. So you put your ingredients in for each particular uh, stuff. And the soul gem. That's a greater. And the fire salts. This is for flame atronach. And just press that. And you've got yourself a shiny star for the flame atronach. Go back again. A broom. And a soul gem and refined moonstone into ingredients and the frost salts and activate the pull bar. And you've got yourself a lovely star for the frost atronach. Go back again. And we're going to go for the broom, or a callum, or a, or a calcum ingot. <laughs> I really can't get that right. And the void salt. Activate the pull bar. And there you have it. The staff of the storm atronach. Okay, there are a few bits and bobs to, to loot round here, so take your time wandering round. I'm not going to do it to keep the video fairly short. Um, if anything's on my way, I'll pick it up. Yeah. It's not a huge amount round here, but hey. And we'll make our way back out. Okay, so that's a good job well done. Uh, let's just get out of here and let's have a look and see what we've got. The Flame Atronach. Fast, agile, uh, but weak. It usually hits with a fire bolt. Uh, it's good against targets with low resistance to fire. The Frost Atronach. Big, tough, strong, super effective tanking damage for you. Has no long range uh, attack, uh, only deals with a melee attack. Not great in confined spaces though. The Storm Atronach has more health than either the Flame or Frost Atronachs. Attacks mainly with shock spells such as Lightning Bolts or even Chain Lightning when facing multiple uh, enemies. Uh, also surrounded by a Lightning Cloak that deals shock damage to anyone nearby. 
can travel over water and are slightly faster than a frost Atronach. As most enemies don't have shock resistance, this is probably the best all rounder in my opinion. Ok so let's put these bad boys to the test. Now I've chosen like a little bandit camp just outside Whiterun. And the reason why I've chosen this is because these guys are tough. Um, if I'm solo at this level, I don't go near them. Well, I'd, I'd either run away from them or it's going to be a long fight. So I tend to have to take out the archer first, a lot of dodging and running around, and then I have to wear down the bandit. So it's something I usually avoid. Not so bad with a follower. But see how it easy is with the, uh, the Atronax. First off, the flame Atronax. See the follower and the flame atronach have them uh, split up, and they're not even looking at me at all. So I can just kill them. These guys are tough, by the way. <laughs> and good night. And now the frost atronach. Now, if you're on your own, what you actually could do is just keep on popping atronachs in there and, and stay out of the fight altogether. Go on, Lydia. You get in there. To be honest, these guys are actually well above our pay grade on our own. And bear in mind, I'm not not a a, a melee warrior. Good night. Good night. And finally, good old Stormy. Pop him in. And bloody wolves. <laughs> I'll leave Lydia to deal with them. Now just a heads up, once you killed these guys, if you go into the chest, um, three more bandits will appear. Just as tough as these two. Now if you don't lose the chest, they don't respawn afterwards. If you loot the chest, you'll come back here again, they'll, they'll be back again. So, And the reason why it could be important, because there's a horse here, which you can come and steal. But you don't want to have to fight them every time you want to go on the horse. And that's it. Job's done. That just shows you how effective these Atronax are. I mean, literally, if you didn't want to, you didn't even have to get involved in the fight. You just pop in the Atronax and eventually you kill them all. Okay, coming up next video is how to get a free horse. Not just any free horse, though. Probably one of the best horses in the game, and that's Frost. So... Please tune in for the next video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Laters.